somewhere in America, in the Americas, and across the pond, there are gearheads gearing up for the day. They have their tools. They're waiting to go to work. The sun yet to breach the mountainous horizon. Has not even arrived yet, yet the gearhead is up, dedicated to his task, trying to use tools, hand tools, precision measuring tools. He's ready to go to work. Yes, gearheads really never stop. They just pick a different task. They can't do one thing, they do the other. But they always forge forward. Even though the sun has yet to even start shining down. Even before sunrise, he's ready to go. She is ready to go because there are a lot of female gearheads. They're ready. Ready to go. Ready to go to work. Speaking about the world we live in today, here we have a Remac, a machine shop tradition in the aero, agricultural, auto and truck industry since World War II, I think. Yeah, it's been around for decades. But a while back, they went out of business and then Proform bought the rights to produce the product the name, and the whole enchilada. Capitalizing on a, a market opportunity to cash in on a completely spotless record in the industry. Something the name Remac had until the purchase by Proform. I pondered on the purchase of this new Remac, but was in a tight spot. My other spring tester, not a Remac, sat in my shop in a brand new condition with the bag over it for three years. The one I was using fell apart and I broke up the one under the bag. Guess what? It wouldn't register anything. Nothing. Well, I'm an honest person. I called them, told them the truth. The guy said, well, it's out of warranty. We'll send it to the manufacturer, charge you what the, what it takes to fix it. And that was March 14th, 2023. So it's, it's May 20th, 23. And I'm chuckling thinking, is it really on a slow boat to China? Now, I have no spring tester. And, you know, I got to have one. So I bit the bullet and brought in the Remac. In my research, the first thing I noticed was that Remac Tools, the name who sells the spring tester and the accessories out of Warren, Michigan, stated they did not service any of the old Remacs. In my mind, I said, China. But I was stuck. So Big Blue arrived. As you see here, there's a black pointer and a red pointer. The red pointer's job is to follow the black pointer up the scale and stop at the highest point measured. And you're supposed to get it two or three or four pounds ahead of the black pointer before you start. The closest I can get it is ten pounds. Something's wrong with it. The whole this whole assembly here is completely loose. And 
and as you can see the red pointer fell about 15 pounds it didn't hold and it's probably because of the looseness of that center pivot so a key feature for the tester does not work correctly that's that red pointer I called them and they sent a new face with the red pointer attached in the mail I have to install it no problem two screws it's done and I bought a new calibration spring from Remac it came with a, a sheet a calibration sheet at two inches outer spring should read 137.1 it reads 121 inner spring at two inches 73 it reads 62 combined at two inches that is the inner and outer spring together it should read 210.5 it reads 192 in their literature they uh, specifically said do not attempt to calibrate tester at the shop to send it to Warren Michigan and keep the original box to do so and you'll be charged for the service well I have to call them now I'm just like anybody else I have to work with you know what I'm given and if that is poor quality yeah so be it but there was a time when quality assurance meant just that assured quality did anybody look at my spring tester before it was shipped to assure quality answer no and that's what we are faced with in this day and age they mass produce everything with no quality and let the tech line handle it I have to deal with this no matter how you slice it and I will I'm not even pissed and I like proform products I have an awesome big end rod separating tool for 7 16 hex that I cannot live without and I will use their products in the future and the Remac Tools tech line personnel couldn't have been more helpful. The point is, I paid the big money. Can anyone out there just send me something that fits the bill right out of the box? I don't have the time to ship back, recalibrate, wait for the mail, and the like. Or is my voice falling on deaf ears? Now today, I'm working on installing this bolt gauge, and I'm going into the bottom of the instrument panel on the Suburban, which thank God in this year it's still steel. So usually you'd go in there and get a punch and try to make your holes so you can drill the holes get in here and here but there's a better way to do it this is called a punch set if you look right here at the end of this you can see it comes to a point just like a punch but it's called a punch set the beauty of this is that you can get it through the hole it directly transfers in a straight line this way so you can get your punch mark and uh, put one screw in go to the next hole put it down it'll be directly in line spaced center to center exactly apart all you got to do is go in there hit it with the drill bit the drill bits are self-piloting, but they have this little hole here. Or this little punch mark, you know, it's the little divot made by the punch. And the bit goes right to the point of that and drills your hole. And you're square. Easy peasy.
and dealing with things that are in our control as opposed to things that are beyond our control which are usually very depressing uh, when you're going to be underneath the uh, instrument panel doing wiring work is always close quarters and we use our Milwaukee 90 degree drill motor uh, comes in handy in tight spots can make a project a lot easier and uh, you know you're lucky for me I'm uh, doing all kinds of stuff uh, putting bucket seats in which uh, the floor has to be cut and I got to build like a subframe assembly uh, if you will for the seat itself and um, so I've got the seats out and I've got lots of room and this is a perfect time to do all your wiring stuff before everything gets in there and then you can no longer get in there 